Hey everybody, we're back at the Milwaukee County Zoo today here to check out some awesome things they got going on. It is a beautiful day. Come along, come on in. Let's go into the U.S. Bank Gathering Place at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Let's cook up something amazing. Welcome to the Milwaukee County Zoo and the brand new Gorilla VR 360 experience that just opened today. The Gorilla Trek VR Theater just opened today and we're giving you a first look at what's inside to discover the gorillas, check out all this stuff. They have an exhibit for up close. They have a VR 3D experience and we're gonna take you along for the ride as they just opened it up today. So come along, let's cook up something amazing on the opening day of the Granilla Gorilla VR experience. So check this out, it costs six bucks to get in for Zoo Pass members, $7 for a day guest. And let's take you in to Rwanda, as there is a complete interactive exhibit here. There is a ton of cool stuff to check out. And we're gonna take you through it today and tell you what's going on. First, when we walk in, a little video playing here. Let's check it out. And again, we just walked in. We are checking out this brand new gorilla exhibit and they have a lot of stuff to check out. And we'll just walk you through and see what's all going on. They actually have a VR theater that you can check out once we get in here. But let's just walk you through and take a look and see what everything is all about. And we'll start right over here. A couple of different things they got set up to show you about the gorillas and uh, protect and conserve. The Milwaukee County Zoo partners up to save the great apes. Let's see what they all got to say. This is kind of neat. AZA Gorilla Species Survival Plan and Saving Animals from Extinction. You can kind of see here. The Combined Gorilla Program runs an annual public education and action campaign, Gorillas on the Line. In this program, participating institutions collect and recycle handheld electronics such as mobile phones, music players, and tablets. This allows for the recovery of Colton from devices lessening the need to mine for rare earth metals in gorilla habitats. So they are uh, doing different things to make sure the gorillas stay safe. Here's a little look at the gorilla daily life. And gorillas are the largest living primates 
and exhibit many similarities with human cousins, sharing over 98% of their DNA with humans. Gorillas are very intelligent, social, and characteristic animals, which is why we find them so fascinating. And just a couple other factoids here about what gorillas do. Gorillas generally stick to a vegetarian diet, feeding on stems, fruits, leafy plants, and bamboo shoots. And gorillas, where do they live, you say? Gorillas move around in family groups protected by one or more silverbacks. A single silverback maintains its leadership and dominance over the group for years. The size of the gorilla troop can range from just a couple of individual gorillas to more than 40 members. Holy cow! Check that out. And, uh, then kind of talk about gorilla threats. Poaching, disease, climate change, habitat destruction, threat to all four gorilla species. Some habit areas are protected by global conservation efforts, but most gorillas live outside protected areas. How often do gorillas give birth? We'll talk about eight and a half months, very similar to humans, which is obviously nine. And uh, what is the cycle of life for gorilla? gorilla. In the wild, they usually live between 40 years, 35 to 40 years. Look at that. How cool is that? And uh, sometimes in zoos and sanctuaries, gorillas live longer and sometimes over 50. And let's take you along this mammoth wall they have set up here. Um, kind of see they got some lights shining up on it, but uh, you can see different types of gor gorillas. That's kind of neat. We'll just walk you along and show you the different types. Species habitats. Let's kind of see, it's kind of neat. They have it all set up in a shape of Africa here in the middle of all this. That's kind of cool. And uh, just a little different categories here. The Cross River Gorilla. Cross River Gorilla inhabits a small forested region along the Cross River. Diet includes fruits, leaves, stems, and some. the western lowland gorilla different information about that here and uh, lowland rainforest between Cameroon and the Congo you can see the kind of different facial features of all of them here mountain gorilla and uh, mountain gorillas live in the mountains that border DRC and Rwanda you can kind of see the difference between it back out a little bit. The difference between the three gorillas they have up there. And then uh, a lot more of the eastern lowland gorilla. Also known as the lowland rainforests of the Eastern Republic of Congo. And they have more of a stocky body. You can see kind of what the difference in the faces are. And as you saw the difference in the faces of these guys and then the difference in the faces of these guys let's see what else this place has in store here we have a little interactive touch screen which is how different are we we can uh, we can drag to rotate and touch hands and feet and it actually gives some examples and you can see the similarities human versus the gorilla. Just kind of give you a shot here of what everything looks like. And the 
similarities and let's see what next does and the differences there you go let's see a little bit of the differences here gorilla's hands are much larger than ours wow the average length of a human hand is 7.6 inches long while a gorilla's hand is 12 inches long a gorilla thumb is much larger proportionally than the big thumb of a human and uh We'll check on the next one here. Let's see physical overview. So you can kind of see there what everything looks like. Everything looks pretty similar. Just the gorilla walks on all fours, more or less. And that the skeletons of humans and gorillas share the same basic structure. Now let's check out the virtual column. You see a little bit different in the backbone there and what they kind of look like. That's kind of cool. And you can see here, humans have an S-shaped vertical column, while the gorilla skeleton is bow-shaped. You can kind of see a little differences there of the size and weight. Gorillas are the largest and strongest of the apes and are considered to be four to times stronger than humans. And look at that. Let's just see what else they had with well, the skeleton. And they are also heavier with many male gorillas weighing over 400 pounds. I mean, look at that. So we uh, looked at the physical one. And, uh, let's check out the head, skull, and the brain. Here we are. A little bit differences. The basic structure, shape of a human and gorilla skulls are very similar. Just like the rest of the skeleton, humans and gorillas share the same number of bones and the same corresponding names. Gorillas have a much smaller brain case and correspondingly much smaller brains than humans. The mouth and jaw, as you can see the difference, the mouth of gorillas we are projected forward in, sc in skulls. Humans have a more flattened face with the mouth sitting behind the tip of the nose. Gorillas have much larger canine teeth than humans and much more powerful jaws. And you can see the ears, the outer ear shape of gorillas and humans are almost identical. You can see the difference there. That's pretty cool. And uh, we saw the hand one. And let's check out the growth. You can see here gorillas and humans, again, the eight and a half months. You can see a little bit of the differences here in the growth. As they get a little older, just like we get a little older. Kind of similar here. As we are checking out the Gorilla Trek exhibit here at the Milwaukee County Zoo, and it just opened today, and we are here for the grand opening. Here we're taking a look at gorilla behavior and uh, gorilla behavior, multiple different things to look at. Cooperative, aggressive, and dominance. Let's take a look. And uh, we can see some chest beating. Let's see what they show here. The dominant behavior with the chest beating. And let's try screaming and physical aggression. Contact with the second gorilla family. You can see a little aggression there as well. Wow, that's really cool. And we'll check on dominance behaviors. As you can see, there are a couple different categories here food stealing, chest beating, hitting the ground, and avoidance so let's check out food stealing a couple different things here food stealing from the gorillas let's 
see they're eating here. And this gorilla just uh, <laughs> took some food from the other gorilla. And uh, let's see what happens. And we'll see chest beating and a juvenile. This is a small gorilla. We can show him with his chest beating. A couple of cool different behaviors here at this touch screen that they're showing. And uh, uh, gorilla says they're hitting the ground. They're known to drag tree branches when they're frustrated, annoyed, or want to display dominance. So hitting the ground is because they're annoyed. More like we are, we get frustrated kind of thing. So it slaps the ground because they are frustrated, annoyed, or want to display dominance. And uh, we'll check out avoidance. Subordinate gorillas must show difference to the alpha or dominant silverback. Um, as you can see here, they're walking along. We'll check out cooperative behaviors. And uh, this is grooming of a mother and an infant. Gorillas groom each other by combing each other with their fingers and teeth. This social grooming helps establish and reign social bonds. As you can see here, the social bond that's happening with the mother and infant gorilla here. Here we have the gorilla personality quiz. This is kind of neat. And in here, they've got two things set up of everything. That's really cool. And uh, here we go. Which gorilla are you? Let's take a look and see what they have to say. When your family wants you to go out to eat dinner, you enjoy making decisions, you prefer some one else makes the decisions, or it doesn't matter because for you alone. Eh. When it comes to obeying the rules, you love to break the rules, see what happens, follow rules, so that it's important no one's going to trouble, or it depends on the rules, sometimes the rules don't make sense. Yeah, let us try B. When it comes to having friends, I'm a loyal person, protects my circle of friends, or... I don't like being the third wheel and will seek out friends who really want to be with me and I tend to lose friends as quickly as I make friends. <laughs> That's funny. What do you like to do at parties? Arrive late so everyone takes notice. Enjoy talking to as many new people as possible or hanging out with only a few friends you already know. Yeah, let's try a little. And your friends often describe you as funny, groupy, and sometimes a clown, very shy and thoughtful, or very loyal and someone who protects friendships. I'll try that one. In your free time, what do you like to do? I'll pick watch videos, read, and chill out. And uh, there it is. Man, I, uh, if you can pronounce that, Twerindy, a young guardian, you have a good soul, and your name translates to protector. You have a playful spirit and love nothing more than hanging out with your friends and family. And there you have it. Let's give you another look at the awesome Gorilla Trek area they have here. We're going to head in to do the 3D thing in just a minute. And just another view of everything that's going on here. And uh, we'll let you know how the 3D thing goes. We are walking into the 3D experience. How cool is this? Look at this. It's really dark in here, so not much sure what, what you're going to see, but let's uh, head on in and check it out just walked out of the experience in the VR theater and that was awesome. You uh, put on a motion headset and the seat shakes and it takes you through wherever in Africa the gorillas are or Rwanda and it moves you around. It looks like you are flying. The gorillas are right there next to you. Totally awesome. Hey, as we checked out the gorilla experience here up close, as it says, and personal, um, that was totally cool. It was six bucks to get in seven dollars with the 360 vr theater you could look left you could look like you could look up you could look down 
it showed you everything. The seats were motioned. It looked like you were flying over the gorillas. It looked like the gorillas were right next to you. If you get a chance to experience this, come do it at the Gorilla Trek VR Theater here. Um, this was awesome. And we were literally transported to the undiscovered world. Like it says, uh, I definitely recommend doing it. We are lucky enough to get here on opening day and check out the 360 VR theater of the gorillas in action. If you do have a little motion sickness with the seats, I wouldn't recommend it, but it was well worth the experience. So thanks for checking it out today with us. Hey, make sure you smash that like button and smash the subscribe button as we gave you an awesome first opening day view of the Gorilla Trek experience here at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Thanks for watching.